examining our thoughts, words and deeds. I begin the examine in the usual way, taking a moment to find stillness and calm. There are so many distractions in our lives at school. I take a moment to empty them from my mind so I can be fully present in this moment, present to God and to myself. With God, I take a look at the thoughts I've had today. What were my strongest thoughts? What strong opinions did I hold? What attitudes did I carry with me? How did I perceive myself and other people around me? What conclusions did I make? When I come upon a strong and influential thought that I had today, I sit with it for a moment. What was the source of this thought? Did it come from a place of spiritual freedom or from a place of unfreedom? Did it lead me towards greater spiritual freedom or away from it? In other words, did it increase my feelings of faith, hope and love in myself and the people around me? or did it decrease them? I take a moment to do the same thing in reviewing my words and deeds. What was the mood behind the things I've said and done today? What caused the mood that made me speak or act in the way I did? Was it a positive mood that brought me closer to showing faith, love and hope to those around me? Or was it something that limited my freedom to be who I want to be, the person that God calls me to be? I give thanks for the thoughts, words and deeds that came from the true spirit, from a place of goodness within me. I ask for forgiveness if I allowed unfreedoms within me to influence my thoughts, words and deeds. I now look to tomorrow. What thoughts and attitudes do I want to have tomorrow? How do I want to show them to those around me? What good deeds am I called to act out tomorrow? I listen for a moment for God's voice. I take a moment to commit to increasing faith, hope and love within my own life and the lives of those around me tomorrow. I end this examen by putting my trust in the Lord who is always beside me in all that I do. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen.